Hey, what's up guys? Henry Wong here again today, and I'm going to be talking about how to auto-generate PDFs. Remixed. Remixed. Right, so about one or two years ago, I made a, a video about how to auto-generate PDFs in Power Apps. And I thought a lot of people found that helpful because, you know, you're able to auto-generate PDFs and, you know, you just enter the data, enter, enter, boop, generate, all good, all good to go. The only problem was that, well, they had to enter the data every single time for it, kind of annoying. And uh, the thing that we used in that video was Power Apps Premium, or whatever you call it these days, it did, it not, did not have a... Um, you had to pay for it basically and you have to pay for every user so that was not ideal and a lot of people were looking for solutions and i think a lot of people did not find many solutions outside of that so today i'm here to offer a solution it isn't in power apps it's actually in excel and it's a very uh it's just excel right <laughs> so um but just excel is very powerful if, if you know how to use it correctly. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use it to auto-generate PDFs with some data beforehand. So, let's get started. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, please. I spent so much time trying to help you guys. It would be amazing if you just like, comment, and then subscribe. Just comment like, thank you, or something, you know? That'd be great. Okay, let's get started though. So here I have an Excel file, and this is a very simple Excel file. Um, you can see that I've done some stuff with it, and what I've basically done is, you know, when you get the Excel file, uh, I'll just open a new one real quick here. So when you get an Excel file, when you get an Excel file, whew, almost sneezed there. When you get an Excel file, you're gonna have this blank slate, right? And all I did was basically I just like readjusted it and boom, boom, you know, put some color in it. I, you know, inserted a picture, inserted a picture like this, right? And I, I just put some data in. I put like letter data and stuff. You guys know how to do that, right? I'm not, I'm not going to reteach you how to make an Excel file. Um, but yeah, basically I just formatted my Excel document like this. As you can see here, um, I just got this. This is all static data, by the way. It's all static, except for this, which is equals today. Um, it doesn't even need to be a formula. You can just make it static as well. It doesn't matter. Um, this is static as well. Thank you so much for supporting our organization. Best regards, Henry. Disclaimer, we are not financial advisors. All easy, right? Everyone knows how to do that. Or most people know how to do that, at least. Um, and all good to go there but how do you generate a pdf from this you go to file you go to you know save as and you try to save as a pdf oh so annoying and then what if you have to do it a hundred times for different data what if you have different names in here like joe roger or and then maybe new, the other one is mike you could you could change it and you could you know reference this data here but then you still have to still have to generate that pdf each time so annoying isn't that guys isn't that annoying yes it is it's very annoying and i'm going to be teaching you how to solve that and to solve that is well first let's back up back up a little bit let's back up on sheet two if you saw before i have some data and this data is comes from a random generator online so none of this stuff is real well maybe it is looks like forbes but doesn't doesn't look real to me <laughs> and we have a lot of it in, let's say we want to generate 35 oops 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 um, let's say we want to generate let's say we want to generate 35 PDFs from this if you're doing this the more traditional route maybe you would have to type in each name and then try to generate it right or if you're a little bit more advanced maybe you would go in here and then you would do a VLOOKUP with it. So this is actually, we, we do need to do a VLOOKUP eventually, so let's just do it now, okay? Um, if you guys don't know what VLOOKUPs are, don't be scared, just type in exactly what I type in. <laughs> so you're gonna type in the, the place where we want uh, Gail to be, right? The first name, this is first name, last name, email, IP, okay? So the first name is Gail, where we, wherever we want Gail to be, so let's put it right here. We want it to be dear, oh, let's not make that complicated. Let's put it right here, okay? 
So Gale, we want Gale to be there, but we can't just have it Gale, we need it to be dynamic. So we put equal sign index, you're going to do a parentheses, I'm just going to put a space, you don't have to if you don't want to, or you can if you want to. I'm going to select all my data from top to bottom for the first name row right there. And actually, you see how this goes to A35 right here? I'm just going to put a very, very large number right there because it doesn't matter. Uh, let's just do 3000 because it doesn't really matter um, that our number is um, goes up to 35. It can go up to wherever, okay? And then I'm going to lock these cells by pressing F4, or you can also just put a dollar sign in front of everything here, in front of the A and in front of the number, in front of the A, in front of the number, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna put another space, put a comma, and then I'm going to match a random cell here, and this will come in handy later, don't worry. So it's gonna be Q6, remember this one, Q6. So, and then I'm going to put a space, and then I'm gonna put a parentheses again right there and that says spill because uh, we don't have any data in q6 i think so let's put a one in q6 and then you can see yep there we go gale we have gale and what this basically so let's make sure we reference that one record number right there so this is going to be kind of a kind of an input but we're going to make it a non-input eventually, but right now it's an input. So if we put two, we have shown, and then if we put like four, Greg, if we go to record four right here, you can see Greg's right there. So that works sufficiently. If we put 12 in, it goes to Cecilia, and let's put go to 12. Uh, there it is, Cecilia. Cool, that works pretty well. So I'm going to put their last name in here too, and what I'm going to do is... Well, I could have their last name like in this cell, but what if it's too long, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some spaces in here in the beginning of index. And um, actually, no, no. Let's remove those spaces. I'm going to put a space after the index. I'm going to put an ampersand. I'm going to do another index. And it's going to be the same thing. So I'm just going to copy this index right here. Copy, control C, right? Control V for paste. You could just alternatively just... Um, paste too, like that. So I'm going to do another index like that, paste, and then I'm going to change this A to be a B like that, and this one to be a B like that. So this will reference that second column, which happens to be last name. So let's enter, and there we go. We got Cecilia Gerardot. If we go to the thing, we have Cecilia Gerardot. Cool. And I want a space in between there, so I'm actually going to go to our ampersand again, put another one right there. And then in between the ampersands, I'm just going to put a quotation, a space, and quotation like that. And there we go, Cecilia space Gerardot. And that works for everything. We've put one here, two, three. That works totally great. There we go. Welcome to VLOOKUPs, guys. So um, I don't even know if it's a, called VLOOKUP. Whatever. That's what I've been calling it. <laughs> um, so yeah, we have Cecilia Gerardot. And wherever, we can go up to 35, record 35, and we see Cecil. Cecil. And we go to 36, it'll spill, but that's OK. 35. And let's just add in the other stuff. So I'm just gonna copy this index thing again since I'm lazy. I'm gonna go to the next one. I want their email to be here. So their email is column C. So let's go here. Let's type in that index. Don't forget the equal sign in the beginning. So I'm gonna change this B to a C like that, B to a C. There we go. And I, oops. And I'm actually going to lock this cell right here and by pressing F4, F4, which is not working for some reason. There we go, F4 and F4. Or you could just put the dollar signs in front again, right? So that's locked. Lock this one as well, same thing. So email, and then hmm, I'm going to put their ad IP address below as well. I don't know why my random data generator gave me an IP address, but... It's there, so whatever. So I'm gonna paste, change that to a D. Oops, a D and a D. And it's gonna give me this, this guy's IP address. So that is how we format our data. And don't forget, we can always put a deer equals deer 
space and then ampersand and then we're just going to reference this column right there and we're going to do another ampersand and we're going to do comma there we go so it's just going to say dear cecile klasinski comma there it is and if we change the record number make sure it works everything changes correctly cool leo so yeah that's how you do it guys that is how you do this part at least and you know you can have as much data as you want doesn't really matter you can have this be an extremely dynamic template but at this point i'm satisfied and we're good for that okay so record 34 it changes to sam samson sour butts there we go samson sour butts cool 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 so we have our first step complete there now what we need to do is we actually need to get the number of records we have so you know we extended our thing down below to however 3000 some whatever but we don't know how many there are to actually how many pdfs to generate so you can just do number of records right here and we're just going to do an equals count a i'm going to do parentheses and we're just going to select well, we, we're, we're going to select our number of records, but then we're just going to change this last number right here to a very large number, so like 3,000 or something. You can put whatever you want. And I'm just going to lock that A cell again. And that's actually all we need to do. So 35 records, that is correct. We have 35 records. If we add another record, let's add like 38, right? We have 38 now. Totally works. But I'm going to change it back to 35. There we go, 35 records. Actually, 35 records doesn't take too long. I'm going to make it 10, guys. Sorry. <laughs> so, delete. Delete. Okay, now we have 10 records. And there are nothing showing there because, you know, we don't have any records there. But let's change it back to 2, 6. We're all good there, okay? So, 10 records. And I, I just moved it down so the video doesn't take too long when it starts generating PDFs, okay? So, our next step is to use VBA. I know you guys might be scared of that word, VBA, but um, this is basically going to be a macro in Excel, and don't worry about it. I'm going to take you every step of the way. It won't be hard at all. You guys will be very, very great at it once we're done. 